The thing about nanoparticles that's a little confusing is that chemically, they're the same as anything else. We know all the chemicals on the earth and we've worked with all the chemicals on the earth. So chemistry, there's really no difference. What's different though is the structure and the size. So we make things with different shapes, different forms, different modifications, we make them on the nanoscale. All of a sudden they start doing things which nobody's ever seen before. New good stuff for the most part. But mixed into that is the concern that maybe, in at least some of the cases, the new stuff that's going to evolve out of nanotechnology is potentially harmful to workers or the environment or even to consumers. A lot of sunscreens contain nanoscale zinc oxide or nanoscale titanium oxide, and it looks to be a perfectly fine thing to do. But there is this concern that we might start marketing things before we fully understand their hazards, and therefore they become a hazard to the environment and the public at large. Even though we don't really understand all of the toxicity of the materials, there are general rules that can be applied that can ensure that they're in fact safe. As it stands now, there is uh, close to nothing, very little for government regulation of nanomaterials. Um, and the only real regulation that exists now uh, has to do with the EPA and the registering of new nanomaterials. There has been no standard set that tells us what's a safe level of exposure to these nanoscale materials to one of our scientists or postdocs or visitors that's working in the foundry. So as a result, we put into place very conservative controls. We treat them as if they're toxic, even if we don't know if they're toxic, with the intent of protecting people in the environment until we know for sure whether or not these materials are going to be hazardous. In terms of environmental impact and occupational health, I think it's absolutely appropriate that the state, state takes a very active interest in looking into this.